Yep, I'm back again with another attitude, fam. Now, y'all know me. I've been out here trying to get my soul on, bro. I got that motivation again. Boy, I done got back in the gym. I'm in the hit, in the weights, you know what I'm saying? Getting swole out here. I ain't going to show y'all too much, bro, because I'm going to pop up on y'all. Y'all going to be like, boy, what happened to you? Like you done ate old Fredo. That's what happened, fam. I done got bulky on y'all. So let me tell y'all what's in the second place. So, you know, I told y'all the last few times, you know, I went to eat. I went to McDonald's that first time. Disappointed. Ain't went there again. I'm a man of my word. I told y'all I learned something. You know, then I went to Sonic. Sonic did me dirty. Man, you know, when you, when you live in one of those small towns like me, you ain't really got too many options. This is usually what you're going to see. You know, you got a Dollar General. You got uh, a Sonic because for whatever reason, they always got that. And then you got Domino's and, and, and typically Subway. Those are the three places you can usually find in a small town, okay? It ain't no different here. You know, granted, we do got this place called Bushes, but they mid. So Domino's has always been one of my favorite pizza places, bro. They do everything right when they do it right, you know what I'm saying? They got the garlic on the crust, bro. That joint be hitting, you know what I mean? They got the toppings. They got the sauces, everything. Cool. So I said I wasn't going to go to McDonald's no more. I ain't going to go to Sonic. The only option I got left is Domino's for real, unless I'm going to cook, you know. So I get Domino's and, and me and Domino's got a love hate relationship because when I when I order it, it's like it's either going to be really great or it's going to be horrible every time. OK, when I when I get the I, I order the food, I get the same things, you know, I get the bone in wings, the buffalo wings with the ranch. You know what I'm saying? And then I get a pizza. It's either one or two things. I get a chicken bacon pizza with barbecue sauce or I get a steak and bacon pizza with Alfredo sauce as the, you know, the, the topping on the bread or whatever. It's like, cool. I ordered the pizza. The, now, the first time, I'm going to tell y'all the, the three times that they did me wrong with the last one, right? So the first time they did me wrong, I got that steak and bacon pizza. Now, if y'all don't know nothing about it right there, you know, if y'all don't know nothing about that, I just put you on game, bro. Okay, the next time you order pizza, I don't care where it's from, you know, you get some steak and bacon, get that Alfredo sauce, the white sauce on the top with the garlic crust, bro. It's going to change your life, all right? When they make it right, amazing. So cool. I get that. And I guess the person that delivered my pizza, because, you know, I usually order a delivery. I guess the person that delivered my pizza had put it on the trunk of their car with some duct tape and just went drifting on the way here. So he pull up. I get the pizza. I'm not even thinking about this, right? I'm holding the pizza with my arm, my arm real warm. I'm thinking like, dang, this pizza fresh, but it's going to be busting. Now, I ain't noticed that, you know, it was grease. Like the box was gray. You know what I'm saying? The, the Domino's box is usually white, red, and blue. The box a little gray, you know what I'm saying? So I get upstairs, I open the pizza up, found. Tell me why the pizza over here, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the pizza over here, the toppings, toppings in the box. All right, so so now I'm I'm flabbergasted because I'm like, first of all, this pizza just looked like it was gonna be good. I'm like, I don't think they ever made a pizza better than that one. But they don't top it. Cud didn't even cut the pizza, found. This was a whole pizza, like just the, the whole pie, no slices, toppings on the left side, pizza on the right. Now, the, really, the pizza can't be nowhere different in the box. So, like, it was in the box where it's supposed to be at, but none of the toppings was on top of the pizza. So, I'm mad, bro. I'm like, dang. And, and mind you, I was going to stream that day, too. So, you know, I'm like, dang. Now, I did throw the pizza away, but it was only afterwards that I realized that maybe I could have just folded the pizza in half and ate it like a taco, bro. You don't have to worry about getting nobody no peas. You feel what I'm saying? So uh, that happened. I, I, normally, I don't even know what was going on. I think I was too angry to even like rationalize a way to eat the pizza, bro. So that was the first time they did me dirty. The second time they did me dirty, I got the chicken bacon pizza with the barbecue sauce. Now, I told y'all, when they come to that chicken bacon pizza, it's only good if they put the correct amount of sauce on the pizza, bro. For some reason, you get a regular pizza with the, with the tomato sauce or whatever, they're going to pour that joint on there. they real gracious, bro. They're going to make sure that you're good. You get that barbecue pizza, bro? I don't know if it just cost them extra to get barbecue sauce or something, fam, but they rationing. I, I'm talking about World War II. They're not playing with you. So they just, you know, sprinkle a couple of drops of sauce in there, give you a piece of bread with cheese on it, and they got chicken and bacon. That's usually what happens. So I, I started ordering the pizza with extra sauce. That's supposed to fix the problem. I'm paying extra to get extra sauce. Just to get the normal amount. That's in my mind. That's how it works. Okay. If you don't get, if you don't get any sauce, getting it the regular way. Then if I get extra sauce, I should get the normal amount, right? I ordered the, chick the, the, the chicken bacon pizza with the barbecue sauce. Order it delivery. Always leave a tip. Buddy, pull up. I get the pizza. Box hot. I open it up. Pizza looking gooder than a mug. Smelling gooder than a mug. Why I bite into it? They done gave me a flat cheese stick. Fam, it ain't no sauce on it. I'm sitting there looking. I, ain't, I don't see nothing extra about this. <laughs> I, I don't see nothing extra about this. Now I'm finna act extra, because now I'm fed up. So 
All right, third time's the charm, right? I ain't trying to put them in that category with, with Sonic and McDonald's, but let me tell y'all what they did to me most recently, fam. Okay. I get the same pizza. The same pizza, bro. And I put the extra, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm giving them extra details. Like, bro, all I need y'all to do is make sure the sauce is on this pizza, bro. <laughs> I'm starting to understand why they call it Domino's now, because if you tip them, it just start falling off. You know what I mean? So, I, I, I ordered the pizza and the wings. Now, first of all, let me tell you about these wings, bro. And I think I got a picture of two of these things, bro. They gave me some wings, bro. It seemed like they when they were putting the Franks hot on these wings, they was like, eh, eh, sent it to them. That's it. Wait, no so Buffalo wings, no buffalo, just wings. Come on, fam. <laughs> Doing me dirty, dog. Doing me dirty. And then I get the pizza. I got the comment, like, bro, extra sauce. It still ain't no sauce on it. And the chicken looked like it got cooked, I don't know, like three shifts ago, bro. And they was like, oh, we got to get this out somewhere. Threw it on my pizza, bro. I'm talking about, they made that pizza, that pizza look like it was cooked with a whole lot of fuck it. That's all I'm saying, fam. So now I'm hot. I'm mad. I'm like, you know what? I ain't eating Domino's. I'm not ordering Domino's no more, bro. So I go this weekend to go hang with my older brother, my cousins, my sister, because it's my big brother's birthday is, you know, 420. Cool. I ain't seen him in some years, bro. So we all get back together for the first time. Like, bro, I don't think we've been together six, seven years. You know what I'm saying? It was a good time. Uh, and then nighttime came. You know, I drove there after a Twitch stream. So, you know, I'm hungry. I said, I'm going to go to Domino's, right? Bro, I said Domino's. I, I was going to go to Pizza Hut. I went to Pizza Hut. <sighs> bro, <laughs> I go into the Pizza Hut. Ask them for a hand-tossed pepperoni pizza with the bacon. Now, if you see a, a theme here, you know, I get a topping with the bacon every time. Bro, tell me why a pizza hood dude behind the counter going to tell me we got a hand-tossed pizza crust. How the hell Pizza Hut ain't got no pizza, fam? <laughs> what? That don't make no sense, dog. You telling me, y'all, you can't out pizza the hood? No, ain't no pizza at the hood, bro. This just hood. Why well, I'm hot? Now I'm hot because I'm like, dang. It seemed like no matter where I go, I just get bad luck with the food. How am I get my swole on when, when y'all ain't breaking bread with the food, fam? Now, I know that's not like the, the proper bulking meal, but you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of calories in a pizza. And, and when you're trying to bulk, you know, especially if you ain't really caring about just taking the high protein route, because I wasn't at home to be eating the stuff I had been eating. You just want the, you want the calories, bro, so I was going to you know, crush the pizza. These folks ain't got no, bro, I ain't never in my life went to a place that sell something, and they ain't had a thing that they supposed to sell. If I go to Popeye's and they ain't got no chicken, something went horribly wrong, fam. <laughs> like, why, why is Pizza Hut only got wings? Well, y'all wings stop. And wings stop right next door. So, like, <laughs> why would I come in here? Mind you, wings stop trash, but that's a video that I'm going to save for another day. But, yeah, I'm just here, again, ran to tell y'all, for one, Domino's hit and miss. You know, when it is good, it's great. When it's not, it's terrible. So, I would avoid going to Domino's if I was you. Um... I would avoid going to Pizza Hut because obviously they, they don't have no pizza. Uh, so, you know what I'm saying? At this point, I'm, I'm not going to ever advise you to go to Papa John's. Yeah, that's Because like back when he used to be, you know, like when Papa John's was actually the one in charge, you know, he put the racism in the pizza, bro. That, it hit a little different. You know what I'm saying? Not that I ever was just a big fan of Papa John's, but when he was tossing that N-word on the pizza, though, yo, it was, it was definitely higher quality. Like Shaq don't know nothing about nothing like that. Shaq, Shaq played basketball. He don't know nothing about no pizza for real. So, you know what I'm saying? I... I honestly, at this point, I'm advising y'all. I know you don't want to do this, and we being honest, we not saving no money cooking at home no more anyway. But you probably just got to make the food yourself if you want to have a good meal, cause they not gonna come through the way that you want them to. And that's kind of unfortunate, cause like back in the day, if you cooked at home, you save money and live better, like Walmart. But now, mm -mm, it costs almost more. If anything, it probably costs more to cook at home, and it costs you time, and time is pricey. So, hey, but I'm really. I'm, tired. I'm running out of places to tell y'all to eat, bro. But I, right now, Zaxby's ain't disappointing me yet. So I'm going to just start eating there every day. And, you know, Chick-fil-A, they finna start putting that hormone and stuff and antibiotics in the chicken meat. It was already probably fake chicken meat anyway. You know what I'm saying? They putting chicken on steroids so they can give you a jumbo chicken breast. But I ain't never seen no chicken with big titties. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really understand the logic behind that. Like, obviously, they're trying to sell more. But, you know, man, bro. On the days that I Twitch stream, I think it's just, I'm going to have to cook ahead of time. That way I don't have to live with that disappointment. But that's really all. But I, I mean, I told y'all, I don't really, I don't ever rant in real life. But y'all seem to enjoy when I be ranting. So I'm going to just start, you know, voicing my grievances here.
Because, uh, you know what I mean? We friends. All right, bro. That'll be easy. Don't talk like one of them. You're not. Even if you'd like to be. To them, you're just a freak. Like me. <laughs>